Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com where you can select from over 6,000 different eyeglasses and sunglasses in-house and brand name. There's so many cute styles, including the pair that I'm wearing today. And it's wonderful. You don't even have to leave your home. You can use the virtual mirror tool like I did to pick out glasses to see how well they fit your face. By eliminating the middle person, GlassesUSA.com can offer prescription glasses for up to 70% off retail. A complete pair of eyeglasses, including frames and prescription lenses, starts at $30 and every pair of frames comes with a basic prescription lens. GlassesUSA.com is a risk-free experience. If for any reason you're not happy with your glasses, you can return them free. Shipping is free and you get a full 100% money back guarantee if returned within the first 14 days of receiving the glasses. So these are a new pair of glasses. What do you think? I've got some others here and I'd love to hear your opinions about them. I quite fancy these ones. How about these ones? and these ones. Ta -da! So if you'd like to receive a special offer from GlassesUSA.com, click the link down below. Big thanks to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today, I'm going to be making something that I found, of course, on the internet, and it is for instant okonomiyaki. Now, what is okonomiyaki? Okonomiyaki is a savory pancake that has cabbage in it, sometimes some protein, and it's topped with mayonnaise and okonomiyaki sauce and shaved bonito flakes and a little bit of aronori. It's described sometimes as a Japanese pizza, but it's not really pizza at all. It's just a delicious, delicious thing. Okonomiyaki is particularly enjoyed in the western and southern regions of Japan, which is sort of the area I lived in when I lived there. And that's when I really had my first taste of it and absolutely loved it. It's super easy to make. You do need some ingredients, several of them as I listed earlier. And so this kit right here is supposed to make things super simple. It, it contains the pancake batter mixture and some of the toppings. It of course does not include the fresh cabbage or the protein if you choose to add it. Here is the okonomiyaki kit. I purchased these directly from Japan and it came in a pack of six, so I'll be hosting a little giveaway. Make sure to follow me on social media so you can hear more about the details of the free okonomiyaki kit giveaway. Here are the full instructions and here are the packets. The batter mixture. These are like little tempura bits. This is shaved bonito flakes. And this is al nori, which is a green seaweed powder. So into our styrofoam bowl, we're going to add the flour mixture. This is 80 grams. We're going to add 120 milliliters of water. Boop. One egg. Boop. So you can see why they call them pancakes because it's quite similar to pancakes in the sense of you've got a batter that has egg and flour, no milk though. But of course this is savory. This is going to be salty. No maple syrup here. And similar to pancakes that we have here in the States, there's no reason to overbeat this. If you've got some lumps, little bits of batter, it's a-okay. I've got about 150 to 200 grams of very finely shredded green cabbage. It's about a cup and a half. I'm going to add half of that to this. They recommend adding it in batches because it's going to be difficult to mix. Agedama. And these are just little crispy tempura bits. You know when you get tempura, the stuff that kind of floats on the top of the oil? That's what this is. Dump that in here. So when I was using a translating app to read the directions on how to make this, I discovered that they recommend that you cook this in a very small pan. And I mean very small, they say 14 centimeters, which is about, I think like six inch pan, like super small. So I went and found the smallest frying pan I could. It recommends that you divide this in half. So you get two tiny okonomiyakis. 
Okay, so this is the smallest frying pan I could find. This is about a seven inch, and we're just gonna use the kind of bottom diameter, which will be about the right size. So we're gonna heat this up on medium low heat. This is annoying. It's not very well balanced pen, is it? The handle makes it tilt at the slightest provocation. We will adapt. All right, I'm gonna add a good amount of oil. Swirl it around. Even though this is a non-stick pan, we want some oil in there to ensure we have a nice toasted bottom. Of course I found these non-stick pans, even though they call themselves non-stick, they like to have oil in them. Paradoxical if you ask me. And we're going to add about half of this to this pan. Oopsie la la. Okay, shape it into a patty. Resist the urge to give this a smush. Don't wanna smush this at all. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and this is getting nice and golden. It's a pretty puffy pancake. Now traditionally you would use super thinly sized pork or pork belly and it's really difficult to find that here in the States, like super thin, like almost thinner than bacon, just kind of shaved. So. I'm going to substitute bacon instead, and I'm going to put about three pieces on this batter side. I'm going to turn this over. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're going to cook this for an additional five minutes. This time, covered. Now this actually takes a total of 15 minutes to cook, so relatively long cooking time for this. but. I think it's going to be worth it because this is a little bit different style of konomiyaki that I've ever tried. It's a lot taller, so curious to see how this tastes. All right, my lovelies, so the konomiyaki is finally finished. I flipped it once and all my bacon was nice and golden and then we covered it again to cook it for an additional five minutes because this is thick and we want to make sure everything is cooked inside. Now, let's see how it looks. Too thick, here we go. <laughs> onto a plate. Now this kit also doesn't come with two other pretty important ingredients. Konomiyaki sauce and mayonnaise. These, in my opinion, are essential. I like doing this kind of a thing. <laughs> then you turn it a quarter turn and we're gonna add some kewpie mayo. Kewpie mayo, delicious mayo, but I particularly like it because it has this really fine little nozzle here. Now, some of you might not like mayo, but trust me, it's so good. Now we're going to add our bonito. Bonito is skipjack tuna that has been smoked and dried and then shaved. It's used in all kinds of preparations, including making dashi, which is a beautiful broth. It's wonderful. But in konomiyaki, you sprinkle it right on top and it does this beautiful thing by illustrating convection, which is, you know, heat transfer and it just, it dances. Beautiful. So I'm going to add that and I want to show you how it dances. And finally, we're going to add the aonori, which is this green powdery seaweed right on top. That brightens everything up. Alrighty, there it is. Our konomiyaki that came out of a cup kit. Now, it smells fantastic. The bonito is smoky and you can of course smell the tonkatsu sauce which has a scent of five spice and the bacon. <laughs> Alrighty, I want this piece with the bacon. Look how thick that konomiyaki is. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. So good. This is a little bit different style than I'm used to. It's really thick and fat and I like it. It's substantial. It's kind of similar to a frittata, but it's not eggy, but kind of that kind of substantial girth. To it but it's not heavy at all it's light and fluffy and because we shredded the cabbage so finely it just melts into the batter 
it's fully cooked mm, and fantastic the konomiyaki sauce is essential in my opinion it has tinges of five spice in it it's sweet and salty and you've got the mayo that adds a little bit of richness to and acts like a sauce and then the bonito i think is another essential element it adds a beautiful smoky slightly fishy flavor it's so lovely that smoky intensity is wonderful then you got the awa nori on top which looks lovely and gives you kind of a scent of the sea mm. and then bacon Again, echoes that smoky flavor from the bonito, adds some added richness with that bacon fat, slightly crispy, porky, delicious. Mm. Okonomiyaki, in my opinion, is similar to takoyaki. You've got some of these similar elements on top, so if you've ever had that, then you've got an idea of what this is like. Takoyaki, of course, has a slightly different texture profile. Those are balls with little pieces of taco or not taco like you might think taco, but pieces of octopus. So those ones can be a little bit more kind of soft and battery inside, but this is kind of similar, but you get a nice kind of rubbery piece of <laughs> octopus in the middle. It sounds different, but it's wonderful street food. You eat those little balls with a toothpick, marvelous. But this reminds me of that as well. Hmm, 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 hmm. Show them. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Big thanks to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to receive a special offer on glasses, please click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. How many utensils does it take for me to eat for lunch? Well, today it looks like it's three. <laughs>